tomorrow night, because of the brave people in our documentary group and on this staff, the truth you are not hearing, it relates to all of this. The war on terror is over? We're getting into bed with the Muslim Brotherhood? Really? GBTV's newest documentary premieres tomorrow, and I want you to gather your friends. Call your friends tonight. Ask them to come over to the house at 7 o'clock and watch this. Rumors of War 3. Invite your family members. Because it's not only the documentary, it's two hours of discussion after, and we will take your questions. I don't care what the president says. I don't care what the administration says. The Muslim Brotherhood is evil. Always have been, always will be. They're against America, Israel, and the Western way of life. They have somehow or another managed to get in good with this president and his administration. Tomorrow, I, I promise you, you're going to watch about half of this special like this. You won't believe it. Remember, we have the White House telling us that the Muslim Brotherhood isn't bad. Meanwhile, we have documented court evidence. They're not, they're not, they're not good at all. You do your own homework. It's important for you to see what the truth is before it's entirely erased. Then you decide whether or not President Obama is the President of the United States or an unindicted co-conspirator. Pretty hefty charge. Never thought that before until this morning I watched the finished product of Rumors of War 3 that you will see tomorrow night at 7, 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. If you don't know the enemy, you cannot defeat them. The Holy Land Foundation called itself a legitimate organization, but the government accused it of funneling up to $12 million to Hamas. In that raid, the, the FBI found the archives of the Muslim Brotherhood in North America. That sounds like a science fiction plot. World caliphate, government under one religion. Ridiculous. No, it's not. The very people we're getting our advice from are leaders in the Muslim Brotherhood. It's not reported in the media. The people of Egypt are calling for change. It is now an Arab winter, at worst an Arab nightmare. The Muslim Brotherhood is the granddaddy of them all when it comes to Islamic terrorist groups. Border security is the name of the game. These are bad guys coming across. There's nothing to stop these guys from entering that country on that southern border. So specifically, you're looking for the dirty bomb. You're looking for a nuclear device. One of the Syrian men claimed to me, he spoke some English, that he was coming here for the purpose of engaging in terrorism. Iran is seeking to establish missile bases in Venezuela. They want the bomb, they're going to get the bomb, and they're going to use the bomb. 90% of all Americans will die within 12 to 18 months after an EMP event. The military is a term for what's going on here. They call it information dominance. I don't think we're a reason-based culture anymore. When tolerance becomes a one-way street, it leads to cultural suicide.